Okay, so now that we know a little bit about Lua, let's go ahead and get Lua set up and installed and see how to create a basic Hello World program in Lua before we move on and learn about the language itself. So the easiest way to get Lua is to go to lua.org and then you have a couple of options from here. So from lua.org, if you go to download, you can just download the source and build this source. So if you're familiar with using a C compiler and you want to build the source yourself, just go ahead and grab that and then you can just build it. And there's even some instructions here to, to make it a little bit easier for you. But if you're using Windows like I am and you want something that's a little bit easier and quicker, what you can do is under binaries here, there is this Lua for Windows. And you can just click here, and this will take you to this code project for Lua for Windows. And I recommend that you go ahead and get this IDE that will make things a little bit easier because it will have everything with it. So if you download from here and do this install, here's what you'll get. You'll get the Lua language, basically. You'll get the S-C-I-T-E. It's a Lua IDE. And then you'll also get a bunch of libraries that are included, Lua libraries here. So you can see all the libraries that will, will come with this. So this is a nice little package. There's another thing here called Lua Rocks. We're not really gonna get into it in this course, but I just wanna show you really quickly. This is basically a component management system for Lua. So you can actually add components by using Lua Rocks and you can see what the rocks are. This is similar if you're familiar in the Ruby world to Ruby gems or in Node, the Node packages, you basically have these Lua rocks. But the easiest thing by far definitely for Windows is just to go ahead and install this executable. And then if you, the only requirement here is that you have to have this MS v c plus plus 2005 runtime library if you have visual studio you probably have this installed if you don't you can just run one of these executables from here to do the installation just read these install notes before you get started with that but uh, probably if you're already doing some windows development you will have that so you can just go to the downloads and you can find the latest download here now this download here is version 5.1 the latest of course is 5.2 Two, you can see what the release data is on this because this is not completely updated. This shouldn't be an issue for what we're going to be working with in Lua. But if you do want to get the absolute latest, you can go ahead and grab the source code or you can go to lua.org and grab that binary yourself. There's already a compiled binary of this get binaries and you can find the Windows binaries here. There's a couple of different places that have the builds. But like I said, I would recommend that you just go ahead and just do this Lua from Windows because you'll get that SCITE based Lua IDE. And let's just go ahead and download this here. And it has a nice installer that does all that for you. So then this will take you to this Lua setup wizard. And then you can just click next through this, accept the license agreement, and then choose your installation location. And it will go ahead and install Lua for you and that IDE.